Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and now it's time for Clips of the Week. The Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Yes, uh, here they are, many of them suggested by you. It's time for the Clips of the Week. And uh, we kick off with a caller to breakfast, illustrating mm. to Ronnie Irani that it's not always a good idea to go on holiday. Let me go to Crayford. John's a Spurs man. John, good morning. Morning, John. Morning, Alan. Morning. Uh, yep, um, Tottenham. Yeah. yeah, how soon they forget. That's true. It doesn't <laughs> take long, does it? <laughs> Two weeks, a long time in radio. Here's Mickey Quinn now on the battle for Premier League survival. Queen's Park Rangers fight for Premier League survival took a massive blow as Aston Villa clinched a 3-2 victory in the battle at the bottom of the table. Villa keeper, Brad Goujon. Brad Goujon. Yeah, a man with soul. That's right, or indeed the chicken. You can have the meat uh, or the fish Goujon. Yeah, yeah. And Quinny wasn't the only one with food on his mind this week. Here's his weekend breakfast partner, Mark Saggers. I mean, there'll be a few of those who will say about Michael Appleton. You know, he went from uh, Portsmouth to Blackpool yeah. and uh, he's now gone to Blackburn and it's been a case of uh, football in coma. Yeah, Very true, yeah. We all are with it Blackburn as yeah. well. I take it it's a chicken corma. <laughs> Very much it so, yeah. be bad corma. <laughs> yeah. Here's the moose now previewing the Grand National. Walsh's daughter Katie rides the much fancied sea bass. His son, uh, Ruby Walsh, is on board him- himself. Blimey. That, How does that work? No idea. Is that Sli- the name of the horse? Himself. <laughs> Slightly freakish <laughs> image of Ruby Walsh riding himself. It's true. How does that work? Mm. Um, anyway, back to Alan on breakfast, talking cricket. Now, India beat us for six weeks. Six weeks? Yeah, it's better than four candles. Oh, hey. beautifully done, Andy. <laughs> Beautiful. Next. It's uh, TalkSport commentator Nigel Adderley with team news ahead of Barcelona versus PSG. And it's the former Barcelona star, Thiago Motta, who was there for six highly successful years at the start of the, uh, the last century. 1906... <laughs> Uh, 1900 to 1906, of course, we all remember the uh, Thiago Motta years. <laughs> Fantastic, well done to him. Such longevity in his yeah, career. Yeah, and he's still playing. It's like, Fanini George was there then. I think that's how he's got uh, mistaken. Uh, this is uh, Emil Heskey on breakfast. And we A did very, him- very good morning, Emil Heskey. Emil, good morning. Morning, Emil. Uh, good morning, good morning. Well, good night here. Good yes. evening. Emil, check your pension. You might have two, three hundred grand in it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did like his laugh, yeah, Emil yeah, Heskey. Yeah. Uh, having said that, isn't a patch on Mark Bosnich's, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or indeed, journalist Matt Scott, Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, the best nothing one. touches that. <laughs> nothing one. touches Matt Scott's Peter Griffin. <laughs> Staying with breakfast, here's the business news. Let's speak to David Buick over at Cantor. David, very good morning, good David morning, Buick. David. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Ronnie. Sorry, it's not Cantor anymore. Lost my job. Blimey, a bit dark. <laughs> What's a bit, really? Oh, God. God, it's got a bit hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old David. Wish him well. Uh, this is Quinny again with his fine Muttley impression. I mean, you could play against somebody, you know, at the back. I don't know about that, Quinny. <laughs> I want you up. That's brilliant, <laughs> That's isn't, great, it? isn't it? He could get work doing that. And uh, we're calling this one, Saggers gets annoyed with Stan Collymore. What's the first thing that Roy Hodgson should be doing prior to what you want, which is speaking to um, uh, Rio Ferdinand on the phone? Gary... Mm. Right. Gary, uh, what's the situation yeah, you, with Rio? If you're going to go to a phone call like that, you'll have to do it in just a minute, Stan. Richard Keys and Andy Gray. <laughs> oh, we love it when we love it when Saggers gets annoyed, don't we? We do. Yes, it's back to Alan Brazil now on David Beckham. I kid you not. Whatever you think about Bex, um, you know, a hero, a fantastic ambassador, a great while ambassador. Oh, an ambassador. ambassador. Sorry, Blimey, yeah, just for a minute there, I just... Uh, <laughs> a bit, um, it was being a bit harsh. Yeah, it? It, was a bit, it was a bit of a relief when that was explained. Here's Tony Incenzo now with Watford v Burnley team news. For Burnley, two alterations with Lafferty and Ings replacing me and Patterson. <laughs> yes, he did a poor game, Tony. Yeah. He? he can't get in the QPR team either. It's yeah, I think what he might do next year. And we're wondering, <laughs> That's true. We're wondering here why Alan couldn't just use the word book. Ned Bolton, right? So the new book is On the Road... The new on the book, Road Bike. On the Road Bike. That's it. Uh, all good... Um, Literature shops. <laughs> yeah, all good exactly. literature shops. <laughs> and a very good wel- morning and welcome to former Man City fullback Tony Literature. Tony <laughs> Literature. Morning, Tony. Um, yes. Now, this is a caller to Keith Arthur on Fisherman's Blues. 
on the Monday before the competition, I was down there fishing with a friend, Neil and Tom, yeah. and my rods actually fro- froze to the ground with icicles. <laughs> it's uh, quite a bizarre picture. If you want to have a look at your friends and me on Facebook, have a little look, Chris Bones Holmes, and see the picture of these icicles from my butt rings. No, you're right, mate. <laughs> I <laughs> think, uh, think I'll give that a miss, the icicles on your butt rings. It's all the same. <laughs> and finally, an old favourite. It's Alan again on Breakfast, getting straight to the point with Premier League Chief Executive Richard Scudamore. Now, um, the Premier League, uh, in terms of wealth, fantastic new television deal. I was down I was down at Colchester United Football Club last night, Richard, and uh, Russell Osman was there, Mo Dipsy's teammate, and we're talking... And um, the, 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 you know, once again, the, the topic popped up about the, the teams that come down from the Premiership to the Championship. They have a massive advantage in terms of parachute payments. Now, that if that grows even greater, um, is it making the Championship very, very difficult now for teams that get promoted from Division One into the Championship or the bottom half of the Championship to compete with the teams that come down? Who get funded for what? Is it three years, something like that? That's a very long question. Not his longest, Richard. I think you'll find uh, he's done longer. Yeah, yes. And he almost certainly will again. <laughs> so there we are. There's the clips of the week, and our thanks go to Chris Pearson from Middlesbrough, Ian Smith from Warrington, Paul Hart, the Ipswich fan, Chris Random from uh, Stevenage, uh, Christian Stentorft from uh, Burke Hampstead, Ron Burgundy from Nottingham. Almost certainly not his real <laughs> no, name. Definitely not. Uh, Glenn. <laughs> Uh, Anchor man, of course. Glenn from uh, Liverpool, Gavin from Gloucester, John Dunn from Sale, Glyn Barrington, Simon Price from Brighton, Paul from Warsaw, Lee Probin from Milford, Alex Cooney, and of course, Racing Post editor uh, Bruce Millington. They all suggested clips that were played today. If you hear a clip over the next seven days, please send it into us at talksport.co.uk forward slash H and J. You can text it to 81089. That'll cost you 50 pence plus your normal sending charges. You can tweet it to TSH and J. That's TSH. A-N-D-J. Give us a day and a time when you heard the clip. We'll have a listen, and if it's played, you will get a credit.